up guys welcome back so I want to say a couple things real quick I'm sorry I haven't uploaded in a while I've really wanted to there's just been a couple reasons why I couldn't upload I'm not gonna go into them right now and this is a little and this is a little annoying so I just got out of the shower my hairline like this right here whatever usually annoys me until it fully dries I got a different haircut so I'm styling my hair different and that's also why my hair looks like this because yeah um, you also notice I didn't use Tech Crafter. I'm gonna be done with Tech Crafter. I'm not gonna use that anymore. I'm gonna use the more Manjay Nerd now because I like that better. So you'll see that on my YouTube channel. You'll see people calling me that in my videos for the most part. Yeah. So that's it. That's all I want to talk about. Talk about real quick. Uh, now I'm gonna jump into what I really wanted to talk about, and what this video is all about. What you know from the intro: Solar Eclipse. Today is a total solar eclipse. Where I'm located, I will see about 97% of it. Well, today is the solar eclipse, the day I'm filming this. The day you're viewing this is after the solar eclipse, so you will have already seen it if you're seeing it. Yeah, so we got, I did a couple things, and I did some hacking and weird stuff. So what happened was, is we didn't have any solar eclipse goggles. We couldn't get any, sorry, I switched hands, if that's what that shake was, if you saw it. So we couldn't get any goggles. However, just yesterday, my dad was able to get this. I think he borrowed it from someone. I'm pretty sure that's what he did. doesn't really matter right now. Um, these are rated high enough to view the eclipse. Now, they work a little weird. See, they have this weird sensor. If you can see this, I don't know. They have a weird sensor. It adjusts the light based on what the lighting conditions, and it, bases the, it, it adjusts the visor. So what we're going to do is... I was able to get, I was able to hack it because with this adjustment, we only get to view the solar eclipse with those, even with those, for only a second before the light readjusts. What we can do is we let the lighting adjust so that the thing goes dark, and then I cover it with, then I adjust, then I cover the sensor with this, and once I cover it, it will not readjust even when exposed to, to the proper lighting conditions that would make it readjust. Meaning we could view the eclipse indefinitely. We won't just see it for a quick second. Now, unfortunately, where we are, my mom is telling me that we'll only get the full effect, which is for us 97%, if I said that before. Yeah. So we'll only get that 97% for two minutes. However, it's going to slowly inch away, so we'll get a couple more minutes than that probably to get good pictures. Maybe, but not much, most likely. So we're going to try to get pictures. We're going to try to get stuff. I'm going to try to get this on camera by sticking my camera in the visor. Yeah. So that's pretty much it. Again, sorry I haven't uploaded in a while. Just want to apologize. I'm just going to chill and wait for the eclipse to start. Check this out. So I turned, we turned on the TV to start watching the news for the eclipse. Look. It's already started. The eclipse is making its way over to us on the east coast, correct? We're on the east coast? Yes, sir. All right. It should be here, what? You said 240. Ish? Whatever. It should, just, it should be here to us within a couple hours, so just got to wait. Just got to wait. I'm so excited. Guys, so it's on the news right now. It's, in to it's at total totality in, I believe it's Oregon, somewhere in, somewhere in the state of Oregon. Take a look real quick. That is insane, and we're going to get to see that later today. I am so excited. This is going to be my first solar eclipse. This is insane. I'm excited. I just can't wait. Guys, we're going to, to the park right now to watch the eclipse. It's only like around 2.55. One, no, not 2.55. 1.55. Ugh. I was going to say 2 o'clock, and then I was going to say 1.55, and then I kind of, yeah. Um, the eclipse doesn't full effect until around 2.40ish, so we've got plenty of time to spare, but we're still going to leave early. So yeah, let's get going. We are at the park, and it is insane. Look at this. This parking lot is huge. It can hold a lot of vehicles. And now, let's say every single one of those vehicles was your average van that can hold around, I don't know, six to eight people-ish. Maybe, probably six-ish, which is probably what your average van can hold. Now imagine every single parking spot being full of those vans. 
Now that's obviously not the case right now, but if it was, there could be well over a hundred people here, even without, even currently without all those vans. This is insane. Now we just got, we just gotta wait for the eclipse, but like, I wanna show you guys how many people are just here exactly. G give me a second. Guys, check this out. This is like how many people are here exactly. It is insane. Again, probably well over 100, maybe closer to 200. I'm just estimating, but this is insane. Dang. And then there's the people who we probably can't even see right now, who are in different art areas of the park. But honestly, the spot we're at right now is pretty much the place to be because it's the widest and the most open, which is why the majority of people are here. So again, we're just gonna wait for, we're just gonna chill, wait for the eclipse. Wonder what time it is. It reach, it's around halfway according to what my mom said. It reaches, to, uh, for us, 97% of totality, around 240-ish again. Ooh, 220. We have 20 minutes before we get the, the, pretty much the fullest amount of the totality that we will get for our area. But again, just gonna chill for the next 20 minutes. I will see you guys when the eclipse gets here. So I've actually only been here for a couple minutes, but I can already tell you, things are beginning to change because of this eclipse. Colors and the, and the all around way everything looks is beginning to become darker and more dull because of the sun being blocked out, obviously. Because again, well, I didn't say it before, so I can't really say it again. Um, because color is based upon light reflection, colors can tend to change. The grass, for example, in certain areas are already beginning to look less green. The trees, pine trees particularly, I'm looking at one now, looks a little different. But yeah, so again, just gotta sit around, wait for the eclipse. I'll be back when it gets here. So it's almost at maximum totality for us, which is gonna be like around, again, six, not, not 60, 90, um, 97%-ish. I've heard 90, I've heard 95, 93, 97. Who knows at this point, but I can tell you right now, it looks amazing. I'm gonna, let me look at it real quick again. Uh-oh. Yeah, that looks awesome. Here, let me try to get you guys in on the shot. It's not working. Oh, there we go. I'm not sure how well you could see that. <laughs> oh my gosh. It looks amazing. So I'm just gonna sit here, I'm gonna enjoy this eclipse for a little bit. So the solar eclipse is actually kind of at its point where it's going the opposite direction. It's getting brighter, color is sort of returning. So we're gonna head back to the house now. We've seen a fair amount. I've gotten, she's got some, you got some pictures. I love I got some pictures, maybe. Well, I did definitely get pictures. I tried to get some footage with the GoPro pointing it right at the sun. Hopefully that got something. Tried to put it through the mask. I'll have to review it all later. Hope I got something good. Um, yeah, we're gonna actually go to where my brother is right now because he wasn't here with us or at the house. And hopefully we can get there in time for him to see this. However, this is probably only delaying that. So I'm just gonna cut this here. I'll be back, at, I'll see you guys back at the house. Guys, so I'm actually back at my house now, sitting down, because I wanted to talk to you guys about the solar eclipse. I really don't, well, I'm going to start with, th there wasn't much. We didn't get full, tot we didn't, we weren't in the line of totality, so we didn't see the whole thing. I've said that before. We did see a good portion of it, and it was amazing to watch the solar eclipse. Now, with that being said, there's all, I was also watching a news article earlier, and the thing he said, the dude who was filming it, and the reporter, asked the person behind him, describe the solar eclipse in one word. The problem I have with that, even though I just said the solar eclipse was amazing, the problem I have with that, I don't really feel there's any word in any language to describe how, how, just how the solar eclipse looks, what it's like to actually see it. It is, 
in my opinion, beyond words. And I only saw part of it. I can only imagine what a full solar, a total solar eclipse would have looked like. And hopefully, in the year 2019, I will be able to travel to the area where I can see a total solar eclipse. I think it's, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's 2019. I honestly forgot what I said earlier because I don't, I didn't memorize any of that. But yeah, I'm pretty confident. I'm pretty sure it was 2019 that I said. You guys will know, and you'll probably be thinking, sitting there thinking, oh, really? He don't remember. I just. I'm super excited. I kind of got caught up in all of the excitement about the solar eclipse. Again, the park was packed. It was amazing. The dudes kept telling. I kept like I've said, like I said earlier, ninety percent, ninety three percent, ninety seven percent, ninety five percent. I just got all scattered. I really don't know what percentage we actually saw. All I know is we saw quite a bit. No, I don't know. If, I. I don't know if there's going to be any footage. I haven't edited or anything yet, so I don't know if I got any used foot, usable footage of the solar eclipse. So I don't know if you guys are actually going to be able to see it in this video, but at least I was able to bring you along for my first solar eclipse. And then be ready because in 2019, it'll be our, it'll be my first lunar, well, maybe not my first, but the first one that I could remember, lunar eclipse, total lunar eclipse. And I'm actually definitely think it'll be my first lunar eclipse and that will be awesome especially if I make a video and bring you guys along for the ride and the nice part about that is the to is a total lunar eclipse it's not it's, it's not bright the way a, the solar eclipse is as you should know <laughs> anyone knows anything about eclipses at all um, so I'll actually be able to get good footage of that definitely if if well that's I'm gonna, I'm, I was gonna say something more like if I'm still doing YouTube or if I'm still doing this. Like, I am still, go yes, I am still going to be doing YouTube then, okay? I am dragging this clip on, I need to get to the point. Um, again, not much to say. The park was packed, it was beyond, the solar eclipse itself beyond words. I think Einstein loved it, my mom definitely loved it. Einstein didn't really look at the eclipse itself, he just enjoyed the people and the company. I actually did some solar eclipse parkour, which felt pretty good. It felt okay. It, it felt good, yeah. That, if, that part I can describe, that felt good. It was fun to do parkour. <sighs> but yeah, so there's nothing else that's really going to happen in this video or today, so I'm going to actually end this here. If you're not already subscribed, subscribe and stay tuned. I, I will more videos coming soon. And as always, peace out.